always been so unfair to me. Life has treated me with so much unkindness, but deep in my heart, I do believe. You are bringing pulling really up system the food is tasty. Mom, what do you take me for? A traveler? Hmm. Or you probably thought I'm still that small girl, yeah? Wait, wait, <laughs> let's get this right. The handbag prepared this meal. Yes. Oh my god. What? I thought it was a house help. Handbag cooked this meal? What? Oh, this is... How come I... Ah, I've been feeling this since I started. Oh my god. I'm on the... Mom, I've been poisoning my own house. Call the doctor. Oh, Christ. What is that? <laughs> I didn't say I didn't like the food. Maybe she's improved a little. Yeah, so. Hey, stop grooming, alright? I said you can prove that. I didn't say the food was good. Don't you? Mm. Anyway, Mom, my miss dad. When is dad coming back from Canada? Very soon. Oh, you have a phone. Call me. Okay, don't worry. Hey. Dad should come back. Yeah, dad should come back. You know you're watching your waist. Bring this food. You can't. Hey, I can't come back. You can't work out this without her. I miss all of you, yes. Daddy, we miss you. Oh, I miss you too. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> I'm back now. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Yes. Oh, you are blessed. Thank you. Oh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh. Hi, Mom. Hi, son. <laughs> <laughs> what kept you so long? Oh, well, um, I have to go hang out with my friends after office hours. I'll see you tomorrow, Mom. Come, 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 my love. For sugar, by listen to me. You have to be very careful and come home earlier. The country is not safe. Security wise. It's okay, Mom. I've heard. Save the sessions for you, okay? I'm a big boy now. Definitely, you're a big boy. But still, be careful. Be careful. All right, I've heard you, Mom, okay? Tomorrow. Okay. Obina. Come, let me just you. No, Mom, I'm really tired now, okay? Now. Guess what? What? Helen is back. Oh, okay, I need to see her. She's more prettier than ever. And I expect she's as arrogant as ever. Mom, that girl said I should discard my friends. I told you that. Well, that is expected of her. She's just trying to learn her ways. Yes. Cut the crap, Mom. Ujo and I lived in America too for several years. Helen's just been myopic. Stop making excuses for her. Then why did you try to teach her? Look, I don't know about all that. No, look, I, I didn't mean it that way. I'm just saying if she has to be my wife, she has to learn manners. Besides, she's too old to be taught how to behave. Obina, why are you talking like this? Look, your dad, Chief Umba, are working seriously, planning for your marriage towards this girl. I don't just sit down and talk anyhow. It's okay, Mom. It's all right. Look, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Okay, I've heard you. 
I'm just saying the right decisions will be taken at the right time. Okay? Now more than really beat. I've had a long day at the office. I need to rest. Please? Hmm? I think you should get some rest yourself. You look tired. Good night, mother. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chief. Oh, Sweetheart, you're not enjoying the meal. Enjoying this? Hell no. Sorry, should you have some chicken and french fries or something? Mm. Staying down with this mm -hmm. stuff really makes me want to throw up. Mm -hmm. Um, baby, well, this is Nigeria, and it's better to start getting used to African dishes. Oh, yes, yes. Ever since she came back, she hardly takes any African dish. Mm. Yeah. So you must have been facing some difficulties in getting her meal over here. Every minute, scissors rushing down to Sheraton, Mr. Biggs to source for a meal. <laughs> Quite expensive. And time consuming too, madam. Actually, we are trying to get uh, my continental chef to take care of our meals. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's wonderful. So, what an expensive wife you are about to have. But I know you will cope. You're a very hardworking man. Okay. Yeah, tell me about it, Dad. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Could the air conditioner in this room be increased a bit higher? You want it increased? Mm-hmm. It's quite hot in here. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. I will get the house help to increase it. Thank you. Yes. Boy, well, the air condition is quite perfect enough, darling. Yeah, it's just fine. I mean, wh why do we have to increase it just because she said so? Is she the only one here? Your case is, right? Yes. All right, Obina, you see. Uh, she will get used to it. It's all right. I remember she just came down. Yes. yes. So what? We've been there before too. I'll, I'll just probably save you the pain and just use the one in the car. All right. Have a nice time there too. Keep it easy, girl. Oh, you know what I'm waiting for? What's that? What's that? You see, oh, you're, you're sick. <laughs> don't, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> uh, you know, they are, they are kids. They know how they do their thing. Oh, um, Amirish kills me. I, um, you know, I was um, uh, browsing through here, apparently, and I'm sure you're wondering what I'm doing. Yeah, well, I, I can't seem to be of much service to myself. I'm, I'm trying to find a, a proper card for somebody. So I was wondering if you could help me out. Oh, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah, thank you. What kind of card, and it all depends on who you're sending the card to. Oh, yeah. I, my, it's my baby sister's birthday, so I need to find something really unique for her. Okay, let me see. Okay, let's see that one there would be nice. Yeah. Hey, hey, you got great taste. I mean, I'm handbags are sure going to trip for this one. Thank you. Oh, thank you. The card is um, as beautiful as you. <laughs> you know, um... Mary, I've been coming here for quite a while now, and I know this might not be the proper time, but I was wondering if I I could ask you a personal favor, maybe go if you could find some time to go out on a uh, you know, dinner with me or something. I'm sorry, I don't have dates with strangers. Okay. Um, maybe I'm not a stranger anymore. 
Yeah, I've been coming here for like four months now. Besides, I we've discussed everything under the sun. And well, I know we've not discussed anything personal. I want us to discuss something else, apart from regular stuff. You know, just you and me. As you can see, my boss is around, and and I've got a lot of things to do. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can appreciate that fact. But look, I just want you to go out with me on this date. Look, I, I'm not going to try nothing. Cross my heart. And I know it's not going to be possible today. So, so how about tomorrow? I know when you close from work, I'll just come back over there. When you're done with work, you come and I won't go. Come on. Uh, well, um, I think you've you've not paid your bills. Oh, <laughs> come on, that's the least of the problem here, okay? And I also take that to be a yes. So how much is that? It's just one thousand. Just one thousand, right? Have a nice day, Mary. You too. Be beautiful. Can't you guys just mind your own business? Would you look like an angel? But can I call you an angel, please? Please? If only you would treat me like the angel. Done. It's a deal. <laughs> You know, I feel supreme when I'm close to you. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Tell me anything, I'll listen. Okay? <laughs> um, really, I don't know where to start from. Really, I don't. My story is quite sad. S start from anywhere. I lost my father so many years ago when I was barely able to make out what he really looks like. And my mother was left with the task of bringing me up like every other normal kid on the street. But unfortunately for me, she, she also joined my dad three years ago. And I was left to my fate. My dad's younger sister took me and saw me through secondary school. But as fate will have it, she lost her husband just three months ago. I didn't really want to bother her much after my secondary school. I had to apply as a shop attendant when you eventually met me. But each day passes by with pain and fears of the unknown. My mother's wish and dream for me has ever lived been for me to go through school, have best of education, and finish up as a lawyer, but those dreams and hopes we are buried with it's, her. It's okay. Now listen, look at me. We're destined to be together. You understand? You're something special. So I'm going to make a proposition for you. Now, I want you to give them the chance. In fact, I want the honor to see you through your education, see you through your dreams to be a lawyer, okay? I will not allow your dream die or be buried with your mother. Hmm? Maybe he doesn't understand. Say, look, I don't want to put you or anyone through the stress of seeing to the university. I love hey. you, but... Shh. Listen, I love you. Do you understand that? I've always felt incomplete until I met you. you understand? Obi, I can't believe this is happening to me. I can't believe you're saying this to me, isn't it? I'm talking to you, Angel. Oh. Hey, 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 it's me. Look at me. What's up? 
Oh God. Haven't you heard of three being a crowd? Okay, yeah, yeah, I called you, I remember. Your kid's sister? Mm-hmm. Oh, so hey, um... Meet my heart, Rob. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> this is Mary. Mary, I want you to meet my handbag. Hi. Would you? Nice meeting you. Pleasure. Got a cute sister here. Oh, thank yeah, you. I have not noticed the cuteness. Um, Miss Obi. Mm -hmm. She's really fine. Hey, what did you feel, girl? <laughs> I mean, your brother's got us for the best. Mm, yeah, right. Anyway, are you going to come for my party on Saturday? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, no. Why? Come on, girl. Yes. Um, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Um, Bros, where's my ice cream now? Which ice cream? I thought you were supposed to be watching your way. Oh, uh, uh, she needs it. You take ice cream, so she needs it too. Uh, please do. Buy my ice cream for me. Don't worry, he'll get it, huh? Okay, okay. okay. You know what? Come on, girl. I'll get the ice cream. Let's get out of here, girl. I Damn. You're such a sweet girl. Yes, yeah, sweet. I want to be the for your heart, woman. I will go anywhere to the storm, to the storm, through the fire, through the fire. Anything just to be with you. For your love, for your love. Oh, oh. I want to be the thing for your heart, anywhere. I will go anywhere to the storm, to the storm, through the fire, through the fire. Anything just to be with you. To say that you're poor, but I don't care. You have nothing, but I love you all the same. It doesn't matter what the people may say, it doesn't matter what the people may do. I want you to know that I love you all the same. Let my mother and my father reject me, let my brothers and my sisters disown me. As long as I have you, my joy is complete. Oh, 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 oh my. What the hell did you keep me waiting for two hours for? I had a couple of conferences at the office and I was extremely busy, okay? Man, quit lying. Why aren't you home? Why didn't you call? Look, Helen, like I said, it's been a really, really crazy day at the office. Look at me a bit. Don't stress me, okay? Stress you? Obi, we are supposed to be spending time together. I came all the way down to Nigeria specifically for our wedding. And you know it. You know what beats me? Now how can a mind as enlightened, as cultured as yours be so myopic? It's, it's baffling here. No, hey, I'm sorry. No offense meant, okay? But haven't you thought of the fact that I mean, it, it's outrageous our parents should wake up and, and engage both of us just out of the blues like that. Haven't you thought it possible that this kind of love builds over time? 20 years, Obi, is over time, okay? I mean, we have matured to the stage of marriage, okay? What, it, what, you don't want me anymore? Is that it? What about the times we spent together? The nights we spent together. She wanted me then, Obi. Oh yes, she did. You know, now is a good a time as any to get this out in the open. Okay? Now listen. Girlfriend, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm a man now. 28. Okay, look. All that childish tendencies, the crush, the wild time we had together, it's in the past. Look at me, I'm a man. I have my own life, my own style, my own thought processes, so do you. We live in two different worlds now. And we can't just wake up and say we, we, we are a party to get the kind of arrangements our parents are putting together. You're far, far cultured than that. No, what I really need is it's time. Time to, to go see other people, to, to experiment with life. Other people? Other people, Obi. Is there someone else? 
there you go again you're being exactly conclusive the typical Helen that's not it I'm just saying we need to experiment because we're young and we need that kind of chance I will not be ensnared into a marriage that after a couple of years I know I, I get miserable and I want to get divorced I don't want that kind of life for myself I don't know about you it's not right think about it I'm trying to understand okay. obviously you're not trying hard enough girl you're young you're beautiful, you're cultured, you're rich. Why don't you go out there and find yourself another man? Why me? I already chose my man. And that's the problem. You choose. Now nobody chooses me. I make my own choice. And if I say you have a problem with you, it stays that way. You don't go out there and choose a man, Helen. You find one and love him and make sure he loves you back. Problem here. Now I've made it clear. I'm going home. I'm really tired. Okay. Think about what I said. Okay. Come on, take care of yourself. Just calm down. Hmm? I swear, Mom, if he goes on like this, I'd have to go back to the States. Come on, don't talk like this. We all know that Obina is your husband. Even his parents have assured us of that. I'm sure he loves you, okay? Okay. Mom, I went to see him in his office. His secretary told me he was too busy to see me, okay? She kept me there for practically over 30 minutes or something. Well, I got tired of waiting and barged into his office. And oh my God, he was just sitting right there doing absolutely nothing. Okay? The worst part is, he screwed at me and asked me why I had to badge into his office like that. Really? How come? God, I have never been so humiliated in my whole life. God, don't worry, okay? Hmm? You're not kidding me, are you? Mummy, what, I'm supposed to lie about this now? Mum, he hardly ever touches me. He doesn't kiss me. No nice words. <sighs> Don't worry. Everything will be brought under control, okay? I bet he's seen some cheap, dirty bitch somewhere. Well, he better not let me catch him, because I'll shoot the bastard. Promise. Ah. Oh. Welcome, honey. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How was the day? Okay. Angel, Thank what's you. wrong with my angel? Come on. What's wrong with my angel? Darling, you have to talk to the Ojimbats. Eh? I won't take her to any bastard on selling my daughter's emotion. They should be proud to have my daughter as their wife. I mean, they should be honored. Of course they do. Hmm. Honey, if this nonsense doesn't stop, I'll do nothing. I just have to call up the relationship. No, you don't have to. They are just getting to know themselves. You know, they are kids, huh? Honey, talk to Daddy. Come on. Daddy is all out to protect you. Come on. Daddy, Obi doesn't love me. No. He stands me up on dates. He screams at me and... I don't know, he's becoming too rigid for my liking, so... He stood you up on dates? Yes. Can you imagine that? What Iran's nonsense, eh? It's okay. Hmm? It do not repeat itself again. Hmm? Come on, give daddy that sweet smile again. Come on. Come on, be a good girl. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. Darling, you have to make him understand that the president's son is out to give out his right age just to marry my daughter. Of course they know that. Huh? So I won't take her to any, I don't know, I don't know. No, it's okay, it's okay, huh? it's okay. Yes? Uh, is that Chief Ojimba? Uh, yes. You see, we've been friends for over 20 years running now. You cannot remember we having squabble over any issue all these years, do you? 
I want you to call your son. Call him. Talk to him the way he has to understand. I won't take kindly to any complaint from my daughter again. Yes. My daughter is too precious to be treated like nobody. You have to let him know this. Tell this to him. Is that okay? Good day, Chivojemba. Oh my God. Can you imagine? How can he be so stupid? I can see that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Hey! Easy. <laughs> that was so bad. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I pity you. Honestly. Just a pity on you, you know? <clears throat> I think. I think it's not fair somehow. It's, it's, it's old fashioned. I mean, gone are the days when parents choose husband or wife for their children. It's not obtainable this time. Yeah, well, for me, it's not a case of being old fashioned anymore. It's a case of being a constant pain in the ass. See, you know what? I think the last thing I'll ever allow my parents to do is force a girl of their own choice on me. Man, it's not possible with me. Not at my age. No way. Now, that's cogent reason for trying to get me to marry that nitwit is that I mean once a case he can cement his relationship with that crazy father of hers can you be there oh, bro that's bullshit I don't think it's fair enough yeah, huh? you tell me about it man I believe you're not gonna accept that mm -mm. <laughs> no way well 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 what's well, okay though I don't understand that he's even beginning to employ new tactics these days what the man threatening to disown me every time I have an argument with him what for real? That's, that's unfair. You talk about being unfair. But for me, he, he doesn't understand it. Look, Mary is like the air I breathe, you understand? Sure, I do. No, she, she's out of this world. I mean, look, Negro, check, check the resume. The girl is beautiful. She's sensitive. And man, behind closed doors, Ow! That female is the bomb, man! Oh, Ouch! <laughs> man! The nail the <laughs> Look, I know. Man. But I, I understand she, Alan, she's a dropout. Is it true? Yeah, yeah but I've taken care of that. You know, she, she I enrolled her for a part-time course in Unilag. She's studying international law. And she's doing beautiful. Man, that's good. Yeah. Big grass. Hey. Hey, hey Richard, how are you? I'm off to the gym. Are you game? Nope. Not with you. Anyway. Saturday is my party. I hope you've not forgotten. How can I? And um, I need to shed some weight off, you know. Keep fit. Yeah, we've heard all that before. Then right after that, you can go back to consuming buckets of ice cream and chocolates. Get serious, fool. Please, can I have your car keys? You seen car keys? <laughs> the answer is no. Okay? Uh, breast OB. Remember I'm your kid's sister. Your handbag. Now, I'm going to let you use the car on two conditions. What? One, knowing the word, I'm going to let you go close to my BMW. Not the Beamer, girl. Go for bead. I'll give you the key to that fucked up old um, Porsche that I used to hustle, you know? Why? It's the repping now. The rep what? <laughs> Look at this kid. <laughs> Wait, hey, let's check this out. One, girl, your ass is broke. Two, you're my handbag. Three, you ain't got no car. And four, man, you ain't even got no rap, girl. It's all right with you. Don't worry, okay? I'll be your new driving teacher. Uh, that would be nice of you. Okay, Boras, you're a darling. Yeah, I'm always a darling when you need to use Bye. me. Bye. <laughs> your kid sister is nice to be with. Yeah, you know yeah. That? A nigga, quit looking at my sister like Hey, I'm take it easy. Yeah, if I got you, jump on lion or whatever they call you, I'll, I'll castrate you, okay? Session to get towards manifesting, stressing and stressing and hit the world with a blessing. A lot of people love an act, so how you give it back? The way I give back is through the knowledge of my raps like a gem. For all my people caught out on the limb, who be giving in, caught out on the stem, who don't want to win? I'm feeling you, I know you're getting down like that, but I'm saying, don't let me do something black. What if your parents don't get to like me? Hey, everybody like angels, okay? My parents are no exception. Come sit down, come on, sweetheart.
young woman. Sir. What did you say your name was? Mary, sir. Mary Obuso. From which tribe? Are you deaf? So which tribe? Delta Ma. It's a look to be precise. Who are your parents, sir? Uh, the occupation? And where do they live? Um, my, my, my father... Actually, my father... Ha! What are you saying? Talk louder! You can't be singing a moment here whispering. We want to hear you loud and clear. My, my father was a school teacher before he died some 19 years back. And my mother a petty trader. And she also died three, three years back. So you're an orphan? Yes, sir. But I'm staying with my auntie, my father's sister. Who is this auntie of yours? Uh, she's a petty trader. And we, we, she's my father's sister. We stay at Kirikiri, Olodia uh, Papa. You mean Ajogule? Mom. Hello. Ajogule is Ajogule. Our papa is our papa. You two know. Mom, we we'll get a picture, okay? So I cannot talk. You talk to why so you should not talk. We shouldn't ask questions. I was just lying off like that. Oh, but you are not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I refuse to let you drag my name to the mud. And young woman, I don't want to embarrass you. And son, I advise you not to rely so much on your position as my first and only son in this family. Is that clear? Young lady, the case hasn't told you. He's engaged. What? Yes. For a dream. And it's a pity a dreamer never gets there. A bloody gold digger. <laughs> he is not your ticket out of poverty. But I know that now. So go out and look for your size. Excuse me, ma. Look, 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 wait. <laughs> Mary! You don't understand this, both of you. If anything happens to that girl, yes, you do. Come back here. Come oh. back here. We will be back. Call your brother back. Get out of this place. Come call your brother. No sense. Yes, Robina, I gave you the opportunity to show us the girl you prefer to marry, but you came up with a poverty student girl with no reasonable background. What is the real problem? No, you are telling me anything. Okay, okay, let's understand this. Is it the girl or the background? Look, what are we talking about here? Is it that a man of brat you want me to get married to that is better? Let me tell you, compared to that girl, this one is a gym. And like I said before, here's rule if I don't marry that girl. You're also branded by class. You don't even give a damn about my happiness. Obina. Obina, be careful. And be mindful of how you talk to your father these days. You are a son. We will always tell you the truth. Obina, the area that girl comes from, Aolosu, outcast. Nobody marries from there. And obviously not my son. No. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Is it true? Very true. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Obina? Obina, please don't kill me. Obina, don't kill me. Don't you think you're being too harsh on him? I am not. I'm trying to put him right. You should open his eyes. You to go in and explain to him. Talk to him, he's your brother. I know I don't have a weak husband. I know you can do this if you want to. See, Emily, I am doing something. I have told him I don't want to talk about that girl again. And I've also told him that I don't want to see that girl again. I hate you. But you're just trying. It's not enough. I want to see it. I am doing something. Do something. And I will see to it that he doesn't marry that stupid girl. My own outcast. Auntie God knows I love him now. I truly love him. But 
the embarrassment his parents gave me was just too much for me. <laughs> I mean, the mother went aside. The mother went as far as calling me a gold digger. It was too humiliating. <laughs> Mary. Too humiliating. Look, it's useless crying over this. It's only natural for parents to be skeptical about their children's choice of spouse. I experienced it myself. Look, before I married my late husband, I went through hell. I went through a series of embarrassments. From his people, of course. And I came to realize that it's only natural. Especially with the rich. Once the girl in question is from an average home, they just believe she's a gold digger. That she's out to reap where she has not sown. Hmm? But what did Obina say concerning this? He tried to stop them from embarrassing me, but everything turned out into a shouting match. Why would anyone believe that I'm just after Obina's money and not his feelings? <laughs> I would be more sure, Auntie. I love Robin now. Oh, darling, it's okay. I know. Eh? I just told you, it's only natural. As long as the love for each other is intact, with time they will warm up to you. They will come to realize that you are a wonderful child. Hmm? So don't worry yourself. I know you love Obina. And I'm very sure that he loves you too. So come on, give me a smile. Okay? Come on. Let's get something to eat. Do get I really up. feel like... Ah, don't give me that. Don't. I know you've not had anything since morning. Have you? Get up. Hmm? Auntie, you're so wonderful. I would have done without you. Oh, come off it, eh? You know you are my responsibility and I love you. Come, let's get something to eat. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, my daughter. Happy birthday to you. Have fun, have fun. Okay. Are you sure? Oh, what's up, baby? Pepper! Oh, this is me to the highest in the house! Woo! Oh, yeah, hey, hey, hey. Do you get the most? Come on, it's got my handbag. The thing is a little bit, man, look at it. I used to take you to wear all this open. Then you should hide it, girl. God yeah, damn it. But it's hey, a good boy. Is that right? Alright, now time to come meet the big game later. Hey, hey, go come over here, Angel. Why don't you take this, okay? And uh, let me grab this, you know what I'm saying? I know you like it, sir. Hey, why don't you go get something for my Angel to eat? Come on. Mm -hmm. Angel. Angel, or your hope. Excuse me? You heard me, bitch. So who is she? <laughs> Who's this? Why don't you run along and go play with yourself or something? Get out of here, will you? Come on, baby. Get your ass out of here. Get your ass out of here. Get your ass here before I whoop it for you, you scumbag. What's the stress? Oh, hey, hey, hey. What's the stress with you? Are you high in some kind of grass or something? Uh, get your booty out of here, man. Get out of here, woman. What do you think? Crazy? You want to see what crazy is? Stop the music. Stop the goddamn music. Mom! What the hell is going on? 
you please tell this son of a bitch to get this cheap ass hole out of here before somebody gets hurt? You slut. Didn't I want you never to step your foot to my house again? Now, get out. Look, mom, what is this, eh? Why are you embarrassing her like this? Why are you talking to a woman like that? Look, I told you to get out of here. Look, I told you to get out of here. Look, I told you to get out of here. Causing me gray hairs about teddy bears. So how much is this? Three thousand, sir. Three thousand, three thousand. Okay, that's it. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day, sir. You too, huh? All right. Hi, Mary. Mary, <laughs> how is it with you? Fine. Where are you coming from? Home. Home. Yes. Oh, no problem. Ah, uh, no problem. Mm. How is everyone at home? They're all fine. Mm. Everyone is fine. And um, Mary, I came to apologize for what happened yesterday. It was quite an ugly one. I wish I could help. Come on, Oju. You see, what happened yesterday would have happened to any other person. I didn't really attach much to it. And um, besides, it wasn't your fault, okay? I I'm know. Sorry. But if I hadn't insisted that you come for my party, you would have been embarrassed by my parents, mom particularly. Okay. What mom did was quite natural. I mean, any mother would have reacted the same way to over her only son, okay? I'm just sorry to. I can't seem to figure out why they won't allow things run its own course. But Obi loves you and so do I. You're such a nice person. <laughs> I hate my parents for their egocentric <laughs> nature. <laughs> Would you stop that? They're your parents, remember? You see, I would rather apologize for wrecking your bed party, okay? I'm really sorry. Well, I invited you, remember? <laughs> I know, Uju. Okay? Okay. How is Obi? That one. Hmm. He has isolated himself from the family. He refused to talk to anybody. He doesn't eat. I don't know what's wrong with him. What is the matter with you? What are you doing to yourself? You have refused to talk to me. You have refused to eat. You have refused to converse with anybody in the house. What is the matter with you? All because we mean well for you. You are now our enemy. Oh, because we mean the best, we want the best, we want the best for you. Ebina. Look, Mom, I don't know what you want. I just want to be left alone. You said to bring a girl home. I brought that girl home. Right in my face, you guys embarrass the hell out of that girl. Look, I just want to be left in my miserable world or by my miserable self I can't handle any more misery leave me alone you can open your mouth and tell me you are miserable or because I don't want to to get married to Anusu or to a bloody gold digger but she is not a gold digger I'm experienced enough to know one what has she done to you what 
has she done to you? I hope she has not cast any spell on you. And let me tell you, she has failed. She has failed absolutely. What do you want people to say when they hear you getting married to a woman that has no background? For Christ's sake, do hell with people. Do hell with people, mom. Don't you get it? Look, I don't acquire all this education, all these travels, just so that I'll give a damn about what people say. I'm not a conformist. You worry about what people say. Look, I remember, you ain't always rich. You were poor before, mom. You were broke ass. Yeah, mom, I still have the pictures. You used to tell me stories of how poor you were. So how come you tell me that I can't marry a poor? Just because she's poor, she's some kind of subhuman. Look, even if you don't like a personality or something, I could beef it up. That's why I traveled. That's, that's why I, I had all that, all that education. Oh, uh, yes. Obi now. Oh, shit. Your mother complained that you refused to eat or do anything in the house, except lock yourself in the room. May I know why? Well, um, once in a while, when a man is doing normal things and he's not walking out, he tries some strange things. Strange things indeed. Now tell me, son. Has my son's decision to do some strange things got anything to do with that daughter of a nobody he wishes to marry? All that is inconsequential now. I just want to be left alone. I just want to know why you guys are bothering me now. Please leave me alone. Obina, you are my first and only son. Myself and your mother here have stopped at nothing in providing you and your sister with all you wanted. You had your first and second degree abroad. But for just love for Nigeria, that is why she's here. But we have planned that her higher institution will be abroad. I have given you people all you needed. I've made you an envy of all kids. Son, I am prepared to die than see my own children live in abject poverty. I did not have the privilege of basking in affluence like you kids. So why can't you appreciate all that by at least listening to us, doing what we wish you to do? Why can't you do that for us, son? Well, look, it's not as if I don't appreciate what uh, you guys have done for me. Okay, I appreciate it. It's not, it's, the, the thing is simple. And, and I, 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 I don't want to make it look like you've not gone to a outlandish extent to make you and I comfortable. I know all that. But I need to understand this. It's a picture I'm painting. And, and you don't understand it. You've always understood me, Dad. We've always talked. You, you too, Mom. Why is, why is all that changing now? Look, you want me to marry that girl? That you're not blind, you know what I'm saying. The same for you, mom. You, you know what is the matter here? Helen Mba is not anybody any man will want to marry. She's selfish. She's spoiled. She's downright rude. And, and she's somebody that no man can call a wife material. Now, you want me to get married to her, then after that, I'll go have mistresses everywhere. And then the inevitable co co confrontation you're avoiding by not marrying her in the first place will come with her father. It's unavoidable. I will not marry and say I don't love my wife enough and go and divorce later. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm, I'm screaming for someone to hear me here. Are you aware that I'm eyeing the gubernatorial seat? I mean, have you ever thought of that? Yeah, well, you told me when you came to visit me in New York, you want to be a governor. But what I don't understand right now is what has that got to do with Mary? A lot. Open up. A lot. Hey, Amelia, relax. <gasps> I will tell you what it has got to do with Mary. <laughs> well, you are aware that uh, Chief Mbai is the special advisor to the governor. I want to remind you again. Our decision to get you and Helen married as husband and wife started in the early days of our relationship by way of business partnership. It was just a joke, but uh, as time progressed, we realized that it's realizable. 
at least it will mark the bond between us. Now my son wants me to go back to Chief Mba and uh, tell him that my son has seen a girl he loves, somebody very beautiful to marry. How do you think Chief Mba will feel? Don't you think that will jeopardize my chances of realizing my long-standing ambition of becoming the governor? Or worse still, launch a strong opposition against me? Don't you think so, son? Well, on that account, Dad, I think you're wrong on three accounts. Yeah. But firstly, if you think um, getting married to Helen is going to guarantee you a seat with the governor, uh, to be a governor, that's wrong. Chief Mbai is not, kind of, not that kind of kingmaker. He's making empty promises, Dad. And then secondly, the people, the people count. That's what I know. That's why it's called democracy. If the people want you, they will have you. You will win if the people want you. It's not Chief Mbai that will make you win. You shut up, your man. Keep quiet. I am giving you 14 days to think about it. Marry Helen Mba and inherit all my vast companies, lands and properties, or lose all. That I'm paramount, I'm your son, all right? Chief Mba is just your friend. Think about your son. Obina, Obina, Obina. You want to disinherit your son? Because of one stupid one, go for nothing, girl? Obina! Open your eyes and see! Stop yelling, mom. Stop yelling at me. You're not listening well, I'm telling you again. This miserable good for nothing girl is my life now, mom. I don't think you get it. You better follow that and tell him the truth. The truth is that I'm prepared to disown all of you if I don't marry that girl. So get into your head now. I'm good. What have I done? What does that mean to me? God help me. What has he done to my son? What? Amina! Ever since Helen got back from the States, he seemed to have gotten worse. Specifically my mother. I don't know why she's so hell bent on me marrying that girl. That is it. That is it, Obina. How could she have asked you to get more serious if there hadn't been any commitment? Obina, you've been deceiving me. How could you have done such to me? I, 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 I didn't know. Look. I, I, if I had any ulterior motive, alright? Now, why would I invite you home to, to, to dinner with my parents to tell them that it's you I want to get married to? Look, how about, how about you juice party? I'm not clairvoyant. How am I supposed to know how hell is going to break loose? Explain all this! It is very clear that your parents don't want me as a daughter-in-law. And I can't be a party to a man who is so biased. You've not been fair to me. I, I, I don't understand why you're saying all this. Dad gave me 14 days to, to marry her when he's going to disown me. And, and I'm prepared to get this if it means living the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Angel, I love you. I, I can't think about any other thing but, but you, okay? I'm going crazy. Please don't do this to me now. Obina, listen. I I love you very much. I like you deeply, but just look at me. I think it would be better if we pretend we never met. And better still. Let's give ourselves a break. It would do me a lot of good, Obina. Okay. I mean, I've given up everything for you. I am prepared to disown my own family just to be with you. And now that I need you more than anything, you're turning your back on me. Tell me, what more kind of sacrifice do you want from me? Angel, Angel, please. Angel, please. I love you. You can go. Angel, please. Oh, you can go, okay? I've had enough pains. Just leave me alone and go, okay? I love you.
have nothing left. I have nowhere to go. Please, don't do this to me, please. In God's name. Okay, now go. Go, please. Please go. Okay. Um. Before I go, I, I just want you to know that I'm going to love you forever. And go, please. For your love, mm, I will do anything. For your work, oh, I will do anything. No! Through the storm, to the storm, through the fire, the fire. anything just to be with you. For your love, for your love, oh, oh, I will do anything. For your work, anyway. I will do anything. Where are you going to? Well, um, <clears throat> I'm going to Jago's place for a short visit. Oh, come on, press Obi. You hardly talk to anyone these days. You don't even ask of me. I understand that it's been nasty, but please, don't take it too hard on yourself. Look, it's okay. It's just that I'm not happy here, baby. I need to go somewhere where I can sort my feelings out, where I can think. I know life here is unbearable these days, eh? Anyway... I promise to take care of yourself for me. Nah, I'll miss you. Okay. I'll miss your handbag. I'll miss you too. Okay? Don't go see me today, don't forget. Okay? Don't tell her about it. I'll miss you, baby. For your love, mm, I will do anything. For your work, oh my. I will go anywhere. Through the storm, through the storm. Through the fire, through the fire. Anything just to be. For your love, for your love. Oh, oh, I want to make anything for your morning Now listen up, you cheap, dirty asshole. You probably got your brains in your ass or something, but it's all good. I don't care. Just stay away from my man, okay? Obi is my man. Go find yourself some other gold mine to dig from, scumbag. Excuse me, young lady. I don't think I have any problem with you. Obi and I love each other. And if you have a problem with that, then you go jump into the lake. Is that clear? Yeah. Pussy got close. Anyway, we'll see who gets into the lake first, bitch. Listen, if you think you have everything it takes to get him, and he's coming after a church ride like me, then you go check yourself up. You rubbish. Your mama. It's all good, bring it on. Watch your back, bitch. Is it a crime to be poor? Is it a sin to be an orphan? Life has not been so fair to me. Don't talk like that. Honey, Life don't talk like that so again. Fair. You are precious. It's, it's a pity that Obina's parents are self-centered. They've refused to see beyond their nose. I try as much as possible not to think of Obina. But each time I try hard, I fall for him. My spirit yearns for Obina. My soul thirsts for him. For five days now, I've not set my eyes on him. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> life is not just being fair. My life is empty without him. I feel so empty. <sighs> oh God. Lord, why me? <laughs> I'm so <doing> me. <laughs> why me? <laughs> I feel so much pain. <laughs> Hi, so. so, you're not looking too pleasant. Sorry, man. I don't know who that is. Hey, come on. You look like someone I know from somewhere. Mary is your name, right? Sorry, man. Hello?
Come on, listen to me, Obi. I don't like what you're doing to yourself, man. You want to kill yourself because of some girl? You want to die because of Mary? Okay, we've been to her house and the auntie told us she's not there. We've gone to the campus, we've gone to her working place, we can't find her! Listen, don't you think she's avoiding you? What makes you think she cares? See, Obi, you've got to think and you've got to be reasonable. I mean, I want you to forget this girl. No! You need to see her. We turned down to a beast. <laughs> no right man in his right sense. We'll go for her. Ah. Baby girl, can we have that door? I guess so. It's about time. In. Nice work. Cool. Anytime, any day, baby girl. We got your back. Whenever. <laughs> Baby's not, not bad, man. I'm like, you don't know your size. Watch your pretty go key. You see this guy? Man, you don't go look past your eyes. Man. Oh, yeah. My John Chief. Hello? 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 Is anybody home? Mary? Hello? You hey. again? What do you want here? What are you doing here? I, I know your parents are very rich. And Mary, she's just a poor orphan. So please leave her alone. I only thank God that you people did not kill her for me. Just go. Get out and go. Auntie, you have every right to be upset. Madam, what was the aggression for? I, I just want to see Mary. Like you don't know. Somebody attacked her with an acid yesterday. Acid? Who, who could have done something like that? Uh, where is she? She okay? Of course she's okay. Very okay. With half of her face burnt. She's okay. All thanks to you. Just look at me, okay? I, I couldn't have done anything like that. I love that girl. I, I love her more than my, my own life. And my father has threatened to disown me if I go ahead and marry Mary, but I don't really care. If, if having Mary means losing my inheritance, I still consider it a very small price to pay. You're angry, but let's be logical. My baby's somewhere suffering and she needs me. Please, take me to the hospital. Please. Okay. I'll take you there. But I just hope I'm doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. Believe me. Let me get my bag. Please hurry, Auntie, yeah, hurry. For your love, I will do anything. For your heart, I will go anywhere. Through the storm, through the storm, through the fire, through the fire. Anything just to be with you. For your love, for your love, I will do anything. For your heart, anywhere. I will go anywhere. Through the storm. Through the storm, through the fire, through the fire, anything just yeah. to be. Good God! 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 Who did this to her? God! They did this to you! Let this figure that just because of me! Listen, Obina. I think it's high time we call it a quit, okay? I'm scared of my life and I don't want. I wonder how many much attacks awaits me, okay? Don't talk like this, okay? Please don't talk like this. I'm suffering too. Look, you're going to be okay. I don't understand. How, how bad is the bones? Well, well, the doctor said she'll be fine. I'm taking responsibility of every bill she incurs here. I think there's some kind of corrective. Surgery, they have to perform or something. 
I can't just burn or no burn. I'm going to stay by you through this. We'll see you through together, okay? I'm really getting tired of all this happening in this country. The so-called rich pushing around the small ones. Look, I don't want any more attack on my girl. She's all that I have. And she's the only survivor of her late parents. Brother, die if anything happens to her, she's going to be right. Who is this young man? His name is Obina. She's for Jimba's son. So you are the one causing these attacks on my late brother's daughter, eh? Listen, young man. I don't want to know who you are, or what you are, or where you came from. I want you right from this moment to stay away from her. Don't you even near her. Don't you even breathe whenever you see her. Do you understand my language? I, I do. Now, see, sir, I'm not responsible for this. I, I'm, I'm not aware of it. Please just give me a chance to show you how, how, how much I love Mary. I'm, I'm Young I'm man, gonna... I am losing my patience. If I lose my temper, I'm going to throw you out of this place. Will you leave this moment? Now! Okay, I'll go. Just give me a chance to pay the hospital bill, please, sir. I'm no not... way, young man. We don't need your ill-gotten money. You can give it to the beggars. Get out! Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, what's up? Look, don't hold me. Why are you crazy? You're here watching TV and you nearly made the girl out there with acid. What the hell is the matter with you? Uh, what the hell are you talking about? What I'm talking about? But look, you crazy. What the hell is the matter with you? Look, do I look like I'm the only man out there? Why don't you go out and get one of your brats or something? Look, I've made it clear to you. You don't have to go oh, out like cut that. The shut up, man. Cut the bullshit out, Obi. Listen, if I don't have you, nobody else will. Especially now that brat. Well, I don't think you got it. You are the bitch. A man, I don't want you! How dare you call me a bitch? That whore you got there calling your love is a bigger bitch. You slapped me. And I will slap you again, too. Fine! Because! Stop a bitch! No! 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 I've said it before, I'm saying it again, ma, I don't want to. Get out! I'll go. Get out of my house soon! You no more house How dare you? You and your people will hear from my husband's. I'll kill her! I swear I'll kill her! Idiot! You see? Darling, I'm so sorry. Sorry. You beat me! Anytime I see you, I always give God the glory. You are beautiful. Thank you. Now tell me something. Do you have a boyfriend? No, not really. <laughs> not really? Are you sure? Yes, I just have a friend. You see? You see what has happened? You see what has happened? That little girl, you see what she's done? Woo! Helen! Helen went and bought as in a marriage! It's a lie! I hope that you're not I like that girl. What do you mean it's a lie? Think I'm lying? But did you see her doing it? That girl is lying in hospital. We have a Facebook and you're telling me that I'm lying! Which hospital is she at the in? She's in St. Anne's Hospital. Look, you see what you've done? I hope you're happy. You and Dad, I hope you're happy. Because if anything happens to that girl, I'm going to kill Helen. Ah! I'm in now! I'm not doing this, Dad. Mom. Huh? I have to go and see her. Are you coming? Wait for me, I'll go with you. Take heart, my dear. How is Obina? He's fine. We are very sorry for what happened to you. 
Obina told us. Well, it is not our fault. When Obina is nowhere in the house, he is nowhere to be found. I'm so confused now that um, his father is threatened to uh, disown him. All because of you. And this is really tearing my family apart. Mom! Yes. Now, young lady, I've come to compensate you, to give you money. One, for being attacked because of Obina. Two, for you to leave my son alone so that we can live like. I think you should understand that no amount of your money can cover for her emotions. You rich people don't have manners. No, please leave with your money. Mom, yes. Mommy, do you come for this? Is she not poor? Listen, madam. What your son and I feel for each other is true love. I'm not after your money. Madam, I'm after your materialistic possession. I love Obina, and that's all, okay? Look, madam. Thank you for your offer, but we're not collecting it. Now please leave, because her uncle is very fiery. And he will disrespect you when he meets you here. Thank you. I think you have to rethink your decision over. There's nothing to rethink. Opportunity come at once. Indeed. Please go. Okay. Would you? Lily, I'm sorry for what you did. Don't be annoying, okay? Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. Maybe it's too late, okay? It's She's a baby. She goes to She doesn't understand. Oh! 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 It's such a cruel It's such a cruel So Obina can do this to my daughter? After all I told the father, I'm going to deal with him. I will deal with him. What? Uh, Chief, I, I don't understand what you mean. Obina has the guts to come and beat my daughter in my own house? After telling you to tell him not to hurt my daughter. Is he insane? Uh, Chief, I apologize on his behalf. There's no apology that will make me forgive anybody that hurts my beloved daughter. Yes! No, 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 Chief. It's not what you think. Listen, Obina has abandoned his home, his office, since I threatened to disown him. I, look, as I time I finish with him, Uh, Chief! Chief! <sighs> Woman, what food have you been feeding your son with lately? Some food I've been serving everybody. I don't think so. Yes, I don't think so. Listen, if you don't convince that your son to rescind his decision, just be prepared to pack your things and join him in exile. Me too, Dad. No, it has not got into that. I want to see her in the hospital, even to offer a compensation money, but she refused. And don't you think Chief Mumbai is taking this thing too far? Because he's among the kingmaker and the party. And Obina may be right after all. What? Is that what you're saying? Just look at it this way. Look at the situation. By next year, I become the governor. And you become the first lady. So you want that son of yours to throw away this dream? Dad! Yes! I see it as a selfish tendency. Come to think of it. When you wanted to marry mom, did anybody stand between your way? Mom! 
I'm living as well. No, I am not Come back. So I don't know why he's waiting for me. Hey, handbag, what are you doing here? What are you carrying a big suitcase for? What's up, girl? Got to leave the house. Dad has really gone out of his mind. Him and mom are always having this fierce quarrel. He threatened to send mom packing, and when I protested, he slapped me. That hit you? Michelle, what can you beat? This man's never done it like that. Christ. What the hell is happening? See, I... I think... I think this, this love and relationship thing is, is tearing your family apart. It's already torn apart. Dad doesn't want to listen to anyone. All he dreams about is one day he'll become a governor. And this is selfish interest, for God's sake. All these politicians, huh? See, Obi, you know what I think? I think, I think you and you just should just go back home to your parents and talk some sense into them. I mean, they're human beings. They should reason with you. You can't allow this to go on like this. Reason? What are you saying, Jago? Look, a man that degenerates to the point of hitting his own daughter, threatens to kick his wife out, and disowns his son is reasonable. Man, I say that is way out of redemption. Now, come on. The man has gone crazy. I ain't playing that. Hey, how about his um, great friendship? About how, how, is, how has he taken all this? He calls several times. Please. Okay, Auntie, please. You've got to help me. Look, I went to the hospital and none of the nurses had the uncle's address. They told me she's been discharged. Look, don't bother going there. Her uncle is very hot-tempered. He might shoot you. Look, I, I don't care. Look at me. Do I look like I give a damn, Auntie? Please, I'm ready to take the risk. You've got to help me. Okay. The address is number 30, Nuro Niwo Aguda. Number 30, Nuro Niwo Aguda. I know this one. Thanks, thanks. Uh, hey Mary, it's me, Obi. I need, I, I need to talk to you. Can I talk to you, Mary, please? Please? I came to see how your face was. See, I've just concluded plans to take handbag you and me back to the States. Look, it's a place I'm conversing with and I know you're going to be just fine. Okay, if everything will work out just smooth. Just trust me. Listen, Obina. I came for you to take some pictures, some photograph pictures, and, and that's all I need and all the plans will be on ground, okay? It's over between us. And let's just assume we never met each other. I need my safety and it matters to me a lot, okay? Well, look, don't be like that, okay? You don't have to call to me. Look, I, 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 know, I know where you're coming from. I can appreciate that, okay? It's, it's Helen, right? Look, I, I'm happy to tell you Helen is not in our lives anymore. That's right, girl. I've taken care of, of that. I, I told them not too many words that, look, she, 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 should, she should just stay the hell away. And, and I, I know she got the message. She, she knows I can act crazy too, okay? Look, girl, it's, it's all over. I just need you to understand what is happening, all right? Just come with me. Come with me. I'll make you happy. They, they even Mary! Shit, uncle. your uncle's coming. Shit. You, AK! Good evening, sir. This time in my house, you have the infantry to enter into my house! Sir, so, so look, I have some logical explanation as to what's going on. Logical! Yes. Just wait for me! You don't have to go about this way. Just give me a minute to explain what's going uh, on. Yes, I'll give you an hour. Just wait for me. If there's anything you will do to show little respect to my uncle now, is to please leave, okay? Look, I need to explain to the man. Look, let me talk to him. Let me talk to him, okay? Look, babe, I, I, know, I know. But let me talk to him. I know what I'm doing. Look, it's the only chance I have to explain this thing. The girl in question. 
had her face surgery and she looks even better um so what do we do well i guess the bitch is better off dead yeah dead dead ever killed before eh? Enough now! Yeah, yeah, we we <laughs> kill us, you know. We are killers, we are serial killers. Patron won't kill us, but kill us. How much will killers. it cost? Oh. Hundred, Hundred grand. grand. No more. No, no, no less. less. No less. Change. Anyway, 50 now and 50 when the job is done. <laughs> Don't fuck me up, man. Fuck you up! Hey. She's dead! She consider your job done. No second chances. Second chances? Uh, Natural bone killers, man! Who kill us? Natural bone killers, man! Yeah, tell me about yeah. it. Cool. Cool. We Everywhere. Ah. Where is Uju? Uju? Yes. <laughs> you ask me where's Uju? I said, where is Uju, woman? Look, I found this in her room. She has moved all her things out. Where's Uju? What? What is the genesis of all this revolution, woman? What are you trying to do with your children? What am I trying to do with my children? Yes! What are you trying to do with your own children? Look at you! You want to govern a whole state. You can't even govern your own home front. What do you mean by that, Emilia? You are great to it, woman. If I asked you to, to put your hand to the fire, will you do it? When Obina says no, why didn't you put his opinion to consideration? Just look at you. Look at who? Look at yourself. Emilia. Yes? I'm surprised, Emilia. Emilia, what are we doing? Yes? Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Yes, Chief Ojimba here. Any word yet for uh, uh, listen, 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 Chief. I cannot understand what actually your daughter wants. How can she go and organize with some boys to pour acid on that innocent girl? When a girl loves a man, she can do anything. Uh, Chief, to be honest with you, this proposal is tearing my family apart. Yes! Oh, even politicians have gotten their homes broken too. I'm not one of such politicians. I'm not. Chief, please do me a favor. Gently persuade your daughter to forget Obina. Yes. She doesn't deserve all this pressure I'm facing now right in my house. Chief Ojimba, my daughter is no longer interested in your son. Yes? Yeah, she'll be, she'll be back to New York by next weekend. Can you imagine the humiliation Chief Ojimba is giving to me? Ellen, you'll be leaving for New York by this weekend. Is that okay? No, Daddy, I can't. I have things to do by the weekend. Listen, my dear. You have to go back to New York, okay? I'm sure there's somebody out there who will value you. That boy isn't worth the problems. Okay? You know you're a very beautiful girl. Tell him never to call this house again. Uh, not my children. Let me rest first. What? We are going to look for them now. Give me a break, woman. Give me a break? If you don't look for my children, I have to roll. I'm telling you. Well, if I don't have Obin, uh, that girl won't have him either. Ellen, like it or not, you are leaving for New York this weekend. Period. I'm sure you meet some guys out there who will, who will take you for what you are. Okay? Don't worry. Forget about him. He's not worth the problems at all. Hey, man. 
Are you sure? Before this girl, like, I'm there. The heat eye. Why are you shaking me up now? Okada! Keep out of them! Keep out! Oh, she's gone. Damn. Man, you were too slow now. You were too slow, man. You were fucking up, man. You know me, man. Oh, you were too slow now. I'm a killer, man. I'm a killer. Oh. Look, look, see. Hi. She's just lucky. To God. We saw her. Fine. Fine. Had a very perfect aim. My aim. And I was about pulling man, the trigger. Man, shut the fuck up and hand me my dope. Now. Helen. You just have to be patient with us. Give us some more time. Give us some more time. Time, time, we'll time. Get her. Time. Mojo says you guys are supposed to be the best on campus. We are still the best. Man, you guys are a bunch of gigs. Damn. I mean, because you can't even kill a single girl. What? See, we'll go back there later in the day today. And this time, she's dead. We we'll promise. I'm going to finish that girl. I'll finish that bitch. Hey, yo, I don't want promises, okay? I just want the job done. You can't do it. You hand me my dough and I find somebody more competent for the job, isn't it? We assured you this time around, she's dead. Fine She's finished. I'll kill that girl. I'll kill that girl. Just give me, just give us a few hours. Geeks. Whatever. Hello, remember all the guy you're back. Anytime, any. <laughs> What is going on? Who said you got right now? Some people shot him, officer. Some people shot Joe. You all are under arrest now. Come here. 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 Come Bruce Obi, what are we going to do? We can't keep on running away from our problems. You're right there, baby. Okay, you know what? Just give me a couple of weeks. If I can patch it up with mom, will and dad will. I'll take you and Mary back to the States. Obina, thank God you are here. There was a shootout yesterday, and Mary has been arrested as the murder suspect. What? 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 Jaguar! Jaguar, what am I going to do here? My dad is a thing. Jaguar, man! Jaguar! Mary's been arrested as a murder suspect. I, I, I don't know what for. We have to go to the station, okay? Where are my dad keys, girl? Yeah, yeah. Jaguar. Come on, Jaguar, what are you thinking about? Let's go. I don't know, say this guy don't be criminal. Better I touch you. Go and sit uh, inside. Well, which way? Officer, she is not a killer. All these things happened in front of my house. Please, let me just see her. I beg you. Oh, no. Mr. Coley, you cannot see a suspect held under police custody uh, in a scene of crime. Most of you have to give the policeman handling the case enough time to finish your investigation. Officer, Good these evening. are her friends. Good evening, yeah. officer. You are all welcome. Well and this is my sister. Mm, okay. But, uh, have you really seen her? It has been very impossible to see her. Um, uncle. Um, with your permission, I would like to get my father involved in all this. Or at least he has the influence to make a difference. You can go ahead and call. Officer? Who is your father, by the way? Uh, well, my father is Chief Ejiba. Chief Ejiba? Yes, sir. I'll go ahead, please. Okay, thank you.
Governor, Chief Ojimba here. Um, I I'm at the police station right now. I have a little problem. Obina! 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 Hey, Obina! Mom, give the phone to Dad. Mom, please! Your daddy! Obina! Hey. See, your mother is here. Where are you? Please, we want you to come home this minute, son. No, no, it's about Mary. She's been held here for a crime she did not commit. She's innocent. Look, Dad, if I'm your son and you really love me, this is the time to show it. I need you. Don't cry, madam. I won't cry. I don't really read all this in the stupid thing now. Better tell me to know. Where I put I say. Obuso. What's your name? My name is Mary Obuso. Speak louder now. It's the Ma Mary Obuso. Where are you living? Number 23 Fifth Avenue, West Park. Where are you working? I'm a student and shop attendant. Want me to slap you? No, no, sir. I do know. See, I know that people kill your brother. You, you know they are monga. I don't know. I don't know. Better tell me what to <laughs> Is it true, no, officer? I put this answer now. Officer, please, I'm Tell me true now. Is it true that they leave you? Talk to you. Better tell me the truth now. Before I put this answer now. Hey, Chinese. Officer. Stand up. <laughs> Is it true that they leave you, officer? This one? Tell her! I think criminal! They are telling what the dollarized first time! This one, you don't see that? Last year? You don't know me, I said, man! Oh, this is the guy in the house! Are you sure? Are you sure? So one of the Amorabah we just bought now has admitted that he's the killer of the boy at first time. You mean it? Exactly, sir. They, they found the real criminal that shot the guy. Who? No, Mary. Mom, 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 wait, I can explain. No, 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 no. no. Mary, please come. Baby, please. Come. please. Come. Mary, please, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Mom, what's happening? Nothing is happening. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Jaguar, thank you. Mom, Mrs. Jimba, like Emilio Jimba. Mary's uncle. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. No problem. And please forgive us. Please. Okay. Thank you. Mom, what's happening? What's, what's up? Mom, your dad and myself, we have decided to accept your woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mom, I'm crazy over you. <laughs> Wait, it's not one of your pranks, right? No, honey. No. I uh, declare my unflinching support for both of you. You can go ahead and marry no. I don't care to see you 
have nothing. Take cars on the car. Don't you know my husband? Even if your husband is the president, nobody's above the law. Okay, okay, fine. Take cars on the car. Where your husband? My father will pay you. He'll pay you whatever you need. Okay. Madam, you know what? Let's go. Nobody's above the law. Understand? I want to be anything. Oh, oh, oh. I will go anywhere for you, my baby. If love of you was a kind, then I am guilty. Because I love you and I always want you with me. If my mother disagree, I will always love you. If my father disown me, I will still love you. Say I don't care what people of the world will say. Yeah, they will care. I will love you ever die for my life.